Something to tell. Uh, avocado coffee, what is that? I can do this. Start writing a little bit. No, I can do this. This might be the best Americano oh. I've had. So I'm here at Mi Wang Hin. It's only a block away from the gym. Kim showed me this place, and after the first time I had it, I've been dreaming about it. I've been dreaming about this Mi Wang since that day. And it was like two weeks ago, so let's go get to Mi Wang. Xin chào. Come on. All right, check out this food. I'm probably gonna have two bowls. Oh, my arms are tired. So this is Mi Wang Ba, Ba being beef. But I had this last time and it was so good. You guys know I love going to Nudo, but this I think is comparable. Tastes a little bit different. Nudo is obviously kind of like a modern fusion reimagination. And this is like as traditional as it gets. A bowl of Mi Wang Ba is only um, 30,000. So this bowl of food is a dollar and 20 cents. As always in Vietnam, they give you a giant bowl of random mixed greens, which I absolutely love. This is like a, um, a sesame cracker. You just kind of like crush it and put it in here. We're gonna taste it first and see if we want to season it a little bit with some fish sauce. Oh, that is so good. But I like it spicy, so. As usual, we got a ton of street noise, but embrace it. It's part of the Vietnamese experience. We're gonna mix it all up. All the veggies soak up the broth as well, so the veggies get nice and dank. Get a little bit of everything. First bite. That is so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I forgot I was filming a video. I'm looking at the time step right now. Six minutes and 24 seconds. I inhale that. Six minutes and 24 seconds. I'm not trying to set a record. I was just so hungry. And that was just so good. Let's go pay. Good game. Come on. Delicious. Long. <laughs> All right, so that was 30,000 for mine. Take a quick look at the menu here. So I got Mi Wang Ba, which is the beef noodles. That was 30,000. Pretty much everything here is 30,000 until you get into like the special stuff. And then for their kind of basic shrimp and meat, it's 25,000. That's a buck. These are a dollar and 20 cents. I've never heard of anyone talk about this place except for Kim. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this is a hidden gem. If you're in the area, check it out and uh, tell me what you think about it. Let's go get some coffee. Come on. So once again, Mi Wang Hien. Uh, if you can't find it, it's across the street from this thing. I think it's a school. Trung Tu Lok Le Hui Don. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to read Vietnamese. Thing about Vietnamese, it sounds nothing like the spelling. Another day, another cafe. We're at this cute little cafe in the corner called Huna. I will admit, I've been here before once with Kim, but it was very short, so it doesn't count. Today we're gonna check it out for real, get some coffee, get some food, see if we like it. Coffee menu, smoothie menu, and breakfast menu. Avocado coffee, what is that? That sounds so strange that I have to get one. 
Uh, could I have one uh, choco bowl? One choco bowl. And uh, one avocado coffee. Yeah, okay. And um, one iced Americano double. Yeah, okay. Could I have that with the um, dalat? Uh, dalat okay, bean? Okay. okay. That's a chill spot. That's a pretty cool spot. It kind of feels like grandma's house if grandma had good taste. Definitely a lot of laptops out. Everybody has a laptop out except for me and one other person, but my laptop's about to come out too, so I'm gonna be joining the crowd. All right, we're getting our things one at a time, so let's try these things out. I mean, Americana standard. Oh. No, you had a choice to pick your beans, so I picked a Arabica bean from Dalat. Why did I pick Dalat? It's the only city I recognize from the three options. Damn, this is good coffee. This is a really good coffee. So this place is a roastery. I don't know if you guys can hear it behind me, but they're grinding and roasting beans behind me. So they roast their own beans. They have Arabica and Robusta beans. Uh, the Arabica beans are from Vietnam. So Vietnam does grow Arabica beans as well, but they usually export the Arabica beans because they're usually more of a high ticket item so they can make more money by exporting the Arabica beans and they'll usually keep the Robusta beans for themselves. But the coffee culture is changing. So there's a lot of places like this where they're roasting and grinding and serving coffee with you know, locally sourced Arabica beans. How much was that espresso? And it was only 45,000. So it was cheaper than Highlands and way better than Highlands. This might be the best Americano I've had in Vietnam so far. From Dalat at Puna Cafe. This is for me. Xin chào. Come on. Oh, this is avocado coffee. Did they put us in here? I mean, this makes more sense. I thought it was gonna be like 90% coffee with a splash of avocado. This is 90% avocado with a splash of coffee. So it's kind of like their coconut coffee, which is mostly like coconut with like a little bit of coffee on top. So I guess you can pour a little bit more on there, but there's already some in here. So let's, let's just try it as this first. This is like a, a avocado smoothie with coffee on top. I don't think I got any coffee in that bite. Just tastes like avocado. Let's... Wait. Oh, it's like, it's a, it's like a sida. Like coffee with condensed milk. Oh, it is coffee. So I was expecting a lot harsher of a coffee flavor because the Vietnamese black coffee is usually a lot more harsh, a lot stronger. But because this is like a condensed milk coffee, it's actually super smooth. It's actually really addicting. Let's go all in. Ooh. So the best way I can describe it is it almost tastes like an avocado smoothie that's a little bit more earthy. So the coffee kind of brings like a little bit more of the earthiness of the avocado, but it's definitely not like, you know, a coffee with avocado flavoring on top of it. It's like an avocado smoothie. Oh, this is actually really good. I mean, a smoothie bowl is a smoothie bowl. Let me, let me show you this before I ruin it. All right, food's a check. Air conditioning's a check. Get some work done here after I eat. And coffee is a triple check. Might be the best coffee in, in Da Nang so far. Oh man, I don't even want to think about how many calories this thing has. It's gotta be an entire avocado in here, right? Maybe more than an entire avocado? How many calories does an avocado have? 240 calories. I think it's like, I'm gonna guess that this is like 350 to 400 calories, because there's definitely sugar and condensed, condensed milk in here. It is what it is. Am I gonna stop ordering avocado coffees? Absolutely not. 
All right, that was a great cafe, but I looked out the window and it looked like this. Yeah, so I feel like it's gonna thunderstorm in like two minutes. So I'm gonna get home before it gets too crazy. I guess it is a rainy season. They're scrambling right now, trying to like put all the chairs away. Uh, yeah, let's get home. I need a towel. Cause no, you guys think I'm exaggerating? You guys need to see this. Hey, you remember that awesome view from this house? Yeah. This is insane. The whole time I was like, I can do this. It started raining a little bit. No, I can do this. And it started getting really windy. No, I can do this. And then it started getting super windy. I was like, just push through, push through, push through. They got to a point. It's not even about the rain. Well, it is the rain, but it's not about getting wet. The rain and the winds were going so fast and you're going on a scooter. The droplets of water were hitting me in the face so hard that it literally felt like pebbles. It felt like rocks were just like speckling in my face. And at first I thought that it was like leaves and debris that was like hitting me in the face. And then I kind of realized like, there's no way that leaves and debris are hitting me in the face nonstop the entire ride, it must be water. But the water droplets are like so big and they hit you like in your, on your eyelids, right? So you're just kind of like trying to squint as much as you can. I probably should have stopped. Everybody else stopped. There was a point where I went under a bridge and there were maybe like 60 scooters just like stopped. They were just waiting for the rain to be over because they had their ponchos on and everything, but the winds were just way too strong and they just stopped. But for some reason, this is like toxic male competitiveness. I was just like, no, I can do this. And I just, <laughs> that was like a traumatic experience. You want a treat? You want a uh, David survived the storm treat? Celebratory treat. All right, let's get a treat. All right, what are you thinking? Sliced duck? Or you want, what's this? Crispy protein pack snacks. What is this? Fish? Oh, cod. You want some cod and blueberry? Cod and blueberry or duck? Okay, cod and blueberry. Give me your paw. Oh, you missed. This side. Okay, good. Other paw. Can you spin? Can you sit? Down. Bang! You're dead. Oh, no, you're dead. Bang. <laughs> okay, fine. Hey, gentle. Ow, oh, that was not gentle. Gentle. Yeah, this is a good girl. I just got a notification that another package arrived. This time I ordered from Lazada, not Shopee. I heard that Lazada is like the more standard one, the more like Amazon type one that has more stuff. Let's see what we got. Nice, we got a chair. So this chair was only about 35 bucks and when I was ordering it, I was thinking, wow, a chair, a computer chair for $35, that is a great price. But then it arrived and I put it together. Yeah, $35 seems Sounds about right. But it's still way better than this dining chair I've been using for a computer desk all this time. Uh, I don't know about much better, but it's better. If I'm actually being honest, this is the most uncomfortable computer chair I've ever sat on, but I'm pretty sure it's ergonomically better for me than the kitchen chair because it's got lumbar support. I have like really bad chronic back and hip pain, uh, which kind of prevents me from doing work sometimes. That's why I got like a standing desk so I can like stand up and sit down. So this is gonna help. This is gonna help. We'll make it work. This is better.